Okay, storing documents with eFile Cabin. There's a number of different ways to store documents. You can upload them, you can drag and drop. There's the Microsoft integration. There's the virtual printer to eFile Cabinet. There's scanning with Sidekick, and there's also storing with Sidekick. So we'll start out by the store upload button. There's four ways to do that. So when you get into eFile Cabinet, I'm going to show you each of the four ways. So what I'm going to do is open up a folder to put a resume in the folder, in the subfolder of permanent for Tom Adams. Okay, so I identify where I want to put that file. Then I'm going to go up to the main toolbar here and go down to upload. Just click upload. That's the first way. And then I navigate into the computer I'm sitting on and look for the resume. And then I would hit open and that would bring it in. The second way, simply go down to the folder and right click upload and then navigate again to find the document. Third way is the folder in the left. Do the same thing. Right click upload and then search for that document. And then there's the slide menu. I like this. I'm going to actually pull that document in now and I'm going to pull that resume in. There's Tom Adams resume. Open it. Now it's leaving my computer going up into the cloud to our secure server probably 800 miles from where I'm sitting and there is a copy of that resume that has gone up to the cloud for Tom Adams. So that's the four ways to you can actually upload by just using the buttons that you've seen there in the different locations. Okay. Drag and drop. Everyone knows what drag and drop is, so I have a, the same resume. We've cleaned out the resume folder. I'm simply going to grab it off my desktop and drag it into the center in there, and then bingo, it's up there. Now, one thing with eFile Cabinet, you can only drag into. You cannot drag out. Sidekick, you can drag both in and out, and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. So that's one of the advantages of Sidekick. You can go both ways. All right. Microsoft Integration. So here's a Microsoft Word product. We're under the Home tab. Notice that we have a little piece of real estate now on the Microsoft Word document. So when I click that button, that would open up eFile Cabinet, a menu that allows me to, and I'm going to demonstrate this in a minute, to store this document directly into eFile Cabinet in its native Word format. Okay, here is a PowerPoint. Again, a Microsoft product with the Send to eFile Cabinet online button. Here's an Excel document. Send to eFile Cabinet button. And if Outlook is your collaboration software, your email software, you can save your emails and attachments directly into eFile Cabinet by clicking this button. So let me demonstrate this with a Word document. I'm going to open up this Word document and I'm going to store it. You'll see that button in a second. And I'll show you, if you don't have that button on your eFile Cabinet product, I'll show you how to get those. Some of you may not have that there on, on your Microsoft products. So there it opens up this window that I just navigate to where I want to store that Word document. So I'm going to Tom Adams' drawer, down to his permanent folder, subfolder is the resume folder, and I hit store file. Now a copy of that Word document is now up in eFile Cabinet as a Word document. And you'll see in a moment here, I'm going to show it to you. So I just navigate down to that same folder, and you'll see there it is. There's the Word document, resume for Tom Adams. And then when I go to my sidekick and navigate to the same location, you'll see that everything that happens in eFile Cabinet online happens in sidekick and vice versa. And so there is the Word document inside my sidekick. That's the Microsoft integration. Now, how do you get it? Open up your sidekick, go to add ons. You see Microsoft, you make sure that that box is checked. And then also the other caveat that must happen is you need to make sure all of your Microsoft products are closed when you do this, when you apply it. If you don't, the button will not, the send the eFile cabin button will not show on your Microsoft product.